This video will explain on Chapter 3, Text Data Representation. As you know text is known as the most fundamental element and most effective way to communicate in multimedia. Through this chapter, you may learn about First, what is text? The meaning and the use of text. Second, text standardization and encoding. Third, fonts and typefaces. Fourth, the digital font technology. And fifth, text in multimedia presentation. After learning this chapter, students should be able to state the nature of text in a computer system and also may elaborate different classification and characteristics of fonts. Text is words and symbols in any form, spoken or written are the most common system of communication. In order to communicate thoughts, ideas, and facts, we may use text in form of words, sentences, and paragraphs. It is also known as important element for multimedia menus, navigation systems, and content. Text is used to help and guide users through websites. For examples in headlines, subtitles, caption, body content and many more. This is one example of text usage on NST web page. Text as graphics. Text for navigation. Text in paragraph. And use for heading, as the title of article. Knowing that there is a wide selection of characters available to you on your computer. And understanding how you can create text. And also broaden your creative range when you design and building multimedia project. Two characteristic for character set need to be considered which are. The content, visual representation, and the appearance, graphic element. Content of a piece of text consists of characters that form or construct words and other units while appearance shows the visual attributes, such as shapes and how it arranged to be displayed on the screen. As we can see in these two text boxes, the content of the text is identical, but not the appearance. Text elements can be as follows. Letters of the alphabet, A to Zach. Numbers, from 0 to 9. Punctuation marks, for example full stop, comma, semicolon, and etc. Special symbols like bracket, hashtag, percentage, and etc. This special symbols normally used to express the language in writing. Control characters, such as enter, space. Text may also include special icon or drawing symbols, math symbols, Greek letter, and so on. American Standard Code for Information Interchange or, ASCII code, is a character encoding scheme and it was the first character encoding standard. It converts information into standardized digital formats that allow computers to communicate with each other or with other electronic communication devices and to efficiently process and store data. It is a code for representing 128 English characters as numbers, numerical representations, with each letter assigned a number from 0 to 127. The code consists of lower and uppercase letters, punctuation marks, Arabic numbers, math symbols, and 33 control char, for device control, carriage return etc. ASCII uses 7 bits, 2 to the power of 7 equals 128 characters. A computer usually stores information in 8 bits. The 8th bit is unused in ASCII, thus is normally set to zero. For example in this ASCII table, M in uppercase is represent by ASCII code 77 in decimal. M in lowercase is represent by ASCII code 109. Character M in uppercase is represented by 100-1101 in binary format while M in lowercase is represented by 110-1101. You may use this ASCII code chart, the quick ref card to define the binary format for each ASCII characters. For example ASCII code 77, is for M uppercase. And represent as 100-1101, in binary format. 
The American National Standards Institutes or NC format is a Microsoft-related standard for character set encoding and a modification of the ASCII character set. ANSI format is known as a doubled modification of former ASCII. According to Information Processing Standard, ISO 8859, 8-bit single byte, coded graphics character set, includes, standard characters, symbols, and international diacritics character. ISO 8859-1, covers Western European languages. This encoding normally used while programming text of HTML pages. ANSI used for extended character, the 8-bit character sets. These character sets contain the unchanged ASCII character set, lower half, values 0 to 127. Upper half, 128 to 159, unused. And, 160 to 255, for accented letters and symbols. Extended ASCII can only represents up to 256 for different characters. The limitation on the number of character sets means representing character sets for several different language structures is not possible. The solution to overcome extended ASCII limitation is by using more than one byte for each code value. Therefore Unicode and ISO 10646, Universal Character Set UCS, were primarily invented to overcome this problem. Unicode can accommodate 16-bit character sets. While ISO 10646, UCS, can accommodate up to 32-bit character sets. Now we discuss on the factors that affect the legibility or readability of text. There are four factors which are First, size of text. The font size or text size is how large the characters displayed on a screen or printed on a page area. For example, size of text, 8, 9, 10, 12, 20, 40 and etc. Second, background and foreground color. The color in which the text is written in or on. The foreground color usually refers to the text color and the background color is the page color. Contrast between the foreground and background is one of the most important factors for the ease of reading. Third, the font style. Known as typeface and font, for example Times New Roman, Arial, and etc. And fourth, leading. Amount of added space between lines of type. Or the space between adjacent lines of type. Font is known as collection of characters of a particular size and style, belonging to a particular typeface family. For example, Arial, Times New Roman, Franklin, and many more examples. Typeface is referring to family of graphic characters that usually includes many type sizes and styles that contains a series of fonts like Arial, Arial Black, Arial Narrow, Arial Unicode MS and you may see many more sizes and styles of Arial family. The study of font and typefaces includes First, the font styles. For example, boldface, italic, underline, outline. Second, font sizes. Consist of point, kerning, and leading. Point is the font size. Kerning, spacing between character pairs and leading the spaces between lines thid cases uppercase lowercase intercap intercap is placing an uppercase letter in the middle of a word and lastly serif versus sans serif serif fonts have those decorative lines or tapers also commonly referred to as tails or feet while sans serif fonts don't This is example of font effects. As you can see you may study the visual contrast of this e-story book. We need to consider the font, text block, the surrounding space, text color, and color contribution. All of these factors contribute to the ease of reading. 
Actual measured of the font size is the distance from top of capital letters to bottom of the descenders in letters, such as letter G and Y. Descenders means, part of a lowercase letter that goes below the body. Font size is measured in points. For example 1 point equals 0.0138 inch, approximately equal to 1 over 72 of an inch. Kerning and leading also play important role in font size. Kerning is the spacing between character pairs, while leading is space between lines. This is example of kerning, we may see the space between pair of characters. And as overlap for improvement of appearance. Left sample is unkerned, while on the right is kerned. Tracking is also known as space between characters, it can make text appear more airy or more dense and affects the appearance and readability of text. This is sample of leading, spacing between and below a font or line spacing. Pronounce as letting, normally used to separate the lines. We may see the comparison between these two example. The effective letting and not effective letting. Referring to below paragraph. The words partial sight are unable to see properly, this is because of, ineffective letting. Font cases can be divided into capitalized letter or uppercase, the small letter or lowercase, and, intercap, placing an uppercase letter in the middle of a word. Thank you for listening. Please continue and listen to second video.